Hello, and welcome to this session on Seeing the Whole Picture by Unifying Operational Data with Analytics, DSN 203. I'm Jirin Yang, Senior Engineering Manager on Spanner, a fully managed relational database with unlimited scale on Google Cloud. With me today, we have Jay Richardson, VP of Application Delivery at Davida, who will share their journey with Google Cloud databases. Today, we'll first cover why we need to unify operational data with analytical data, and we'll invite Davida to walk us through how they put that into action. And finally, we will cover some exciting launches in this area. A few years ago, Gartner combined the analytical database quadrant with the operational DBMS quadrant, citing that the market is converging. And that is indeed what we're seeing as well. We see a growth in the need for near real-time insights where customers need to make quick decisions from their latest data. The data is collected by their operational databases, then aggregated with historical information stored in analytical databases, and they are joined to derive insights to drive business decisions. Some customers even incorporate AI recommendations to further bolster their data-driven decisions. Let's talk about some real-world use cases where this comes to life. In banking, a loan processing system can determine in near real time the risk of default, so the application is automatically routed to the right approval workflow to ensure rapid response to customers while protecting the bank. In retail, a payment processing system includes fraud detection in its workflow to identify fraudulent transactions in near real time as the transaction is being processed. The system will flag high risk transactions for additional processing or human scrutiny based on the risk and potential impact. This can save retailers and financial institutions up to hundreds of millions of dollars every year. In healthcare, users employ machine learning to help in areas such as predicting diseases like diabetes, even as part of a mobile clinic visit for the underserved. It can also identify the best candidates for clinical trials or even the mundane but important administrative tasks that take up roughly a quarter of the US nurses' time. Speaking of healthcare, let's take a look at what we've just covered in practice. I'm honored to have Jay Richardson, Vice President of Application Delivery at Davida, with me here today to walk you through how the Davida team managed to combine operational data with analytics on Google Cloud to upgrade their clinics and patients' experiences. Over to you, Jay. Thanks, Jareen. I want to talk a little bit today about our company and what we do. If, if you're in the uh, dialysis space, you probably know us. If not, um, in the provider space, maybe you do. But we are one of the largest kidney care companies in, in the world. And we really span the gamut of kidney care from uh, CKD, which is chronic kidney disease, all the way through treatment in our facility or at home, or and hopefully to a transplant. Uh, it's in our name, loosely translated, of giving life. And we are a very patient-centric organization. And so what I like about technology and really I'm going to talk about today is how you can use technology and innovation to directly influence patient outcomes. And more specifically, we're going to highlight one of our uh, core digital transformation programs called Center Without Walls. And while I refer to it as our clinical OS, most people would call it a, an EHR, electronic health record, but it's our take and a very dialysis specific version of that. So as you can see on the left, CWOW is now, we're actively deploying. And so if I look back at some of the engineering challenges that we've had, um, anytime you do something with this scale and, and keeping in mind that most EHRs are local, so think about a clinic or maybe a series of hospitals, what we wanted to do is to be able to take all of our data and centralize it. Um, that was a big, big engineering challenge for us. So if you look at it, it's 600,000 treatments on 200,000 patients, 45,000 clinicians, 
and really all of the related care activities in a centralized system. If we we're going to go through that effort, kind of the next engineering challenge was how do you improve in insights without sacrificing performance? So how do we take this centralized data, actually do something with it that improves the patient outcome? Thirdly, if you're looking at um, what where most EHRs fail or the, the negative knocks, I think on a lot of EHRs is they're too task driven. So we wanted, we wanted to take these insights and embed them and really embed the complicated task flows when they were needed to be done, whether it was that day, that week, or that month. And we didn't want to interfere with the quality of care. So again, the right information at the right time uh, was very important to us. And then lastly, if we look at another goal of the system is how do we save clinicians time? So in any goal of transformation, especially inside of healthcare, it should be how do we save clinicians time so they can get back to caring for what the, for their patients, which is really you know, what fulfills the clinicians. So our partnership with Google, and I would say it started kind of at the grassroots. We partnered on three main areas. So first is how do you take an on-prem solution that was in the middle of development and move it to GCP? So if we're looking to do that, we started with Spanner first. And then normally this wouldn't be what you start with, uh, with a brand new cloud agreement or a brand new cloud uh, partnership, but we did, and we were very successful with it, with Google's help, and then everyone kind of leaning all in. So that was the Spanner component of it. If we looked at next with our design there, with Spanner to make it super scalable, we, hit, we went with domain. But then as we started building out more and more of the applications, we found that these cross-cutting concerns were really a challenge for us. And so then we partnered with Google to implement BigQuery as our data warehouse. And then last but not least, over the last few months, and, and even we were on it before, uh, we were the first customers on it, I believe in May, from a GR standpoint, as we partner with Google uh, to implement change streams. And what this allows us to, to do is to replicate changes out of Spanner into BQ almost real time, and us for it to be able to embed the analytics, or you hear me kind of switch between analytics and, and insights into the actual workflow versus making them a separate application. On the architecture front, um, this sounds really complicated if you look at it, but I think you, the one thing I would take away, this is uh, if you're using the services for Spanner and Chain Streams and BQ, you can really simplify what you have to do as a, a technology group. Again, it kind of data flows here left to right from a Spanner, replicate it very quickly to BQ. We write services over the top of the whole ecosystem. So this is more of our back end picture and we could get a lot more detail but in this one, we'll stay pretty high level. So this is what I always look for out of one of these sessions. So why would you adopt these three pieces of technology? So one is for scale. And if you look at it, 45,000 users, again, those numbers are not much for a bank, but for us and giving the criticality of this data, those numbers were, were pretty daunting for on-prem. We also wanted the ability to scale. Currently we're launching around hundred clinics per week. And that, that equates to several thousand clinicians sometimes and up to three or four thousand patients migrating onto the platform per week. Chain streams, kind of highlighting it here in the middle. And it's one of those engineering wins that you rarely get. You get to improve speed, you get to make it more scalable, and you get to run it at a lower cost. And so kind of highlight that as we were able to take replication that we were doing on our own, it was taking around 60 seconds, and really baseline it from replication to spanner to BQ in around 15 seconds. We also gained pretty much infinite scalability. Uh, so if Spanner will scale, your chain streams will scale. And then kind of the last column I look at and, and really point out the why. So why did we go through this journey with Google? Why did we partner with them? It's really these insights. And so be able to join the data together and be able to provide the right data at the right time to not over, overwhelm our cl clinicians with data. And then kind of a side benefit is we get to do full aggregations for our key patient meds and labs data. And on top of that, we have amazing performance for these cross domain interfaces that are very data rich. Again, I'd like to say thank you for the partnership with Google and all the people here at DaVita. Thank you so much, Jay, for sharing DaVita's story. And we're so happy to partner with DaVita to bring these patient 360 views to provide better care. Here's a summary of why combining operational and analytical data was previously a challenge. First, technologies that tightly couple storage and compute means that scaling becomes very difficult. Second, 
running analytical queries on operational databases may impact the performance of the customer's mission-critical transactional workflows. And third, it's pretty expensive. Using solutions like change streams and data stream on Google Cloud, we now have a solution to these challenges. Let's take a look at some new capabilities in this area. We recently announced data stream for BigQuery, which enables continuous real-time replication from data from operational databases such as MySQL, PostgreSQL, and Oracle into BigQuery. Data Stream for BigQuery was developed in close partnership with our BigQuery team and delivers a truly unique, seamless, and easy to use experience that en enables near real time insights in BigQuery with just a few steps. Using BigQuery's newly developed Change Data Capture CDC functionality, Data Stream efficiently replicates updates directly from source systems into BigQuery tables in real time. You no longer have to waste valuable resources building and managing complex data pipelines. Just configure your source database, connection type, and destination in BigQuery, and you're all set. Data stream for BigQuery will backfill historical data and continuously replicate new changes as they happen. And as data schemas, database schemas shift, Data Stream seamlessly handles schema changes and automatically adds new tables and columns into BigQuery. Continuing with the replication story, we are thrilled to announce that Bigtable Chain Streams is now in preview. Bigtable Chain Streams allows customers to track changes within their database based on their configuration and to access and integrate this data with other systems. This means customers can efficiently replicate data to data warehouses like BigQuery for analytics, build event-driven applications by triggering downstream behavior, or synchronize changes to enable multi-cloud downstream deployments. Bigtable Chain Streams tracks data writes, updates, and deletes. Changes are synchronously written along with the data, and you can stream out the changes in real time. For many use cases, we provide turnkey connectors, but you can also write custom processing pipelines using our chain streams data flow connector or have even more flexibility and control integrating with the Bigtable API directly. As a refresher, Cloud Spanner Chain Streams has been in GA since May this year and is what the Vita uses to power their dashboards. Spanner Chain Streams enables customers to track changes within their database based on their configuration and to access and integrate this data with other systems. This means customers like Davida can easily replicate database changes to BigQuery for analytics, trigger downstream application behaviors such as through PubSub, or capture database changes for auditing or archival in GCS. And finally, for customers who want to incorporate AI into the data-driven decision-making process, we are happy to announce the preview for Vertex AI integration for model serving in Cloud Spanner. Built-in integration with Vertex AI unifies operational databases with AI, making it simpler to consume published machine learning models and build AI-powered applications faster. As shown in the sample retail checkout process, where fraud detection is part of the same database transaction and the appropriate action is taken as part of the checkout process. This is just a few lines of SQL to register the Vertex AI model and to run the model using the ML predict function. There is a lot more exciting content at Next, and I encourage you to attend the sessions to learn more about our Spanner, Bigtable, and DataStream products. For Spanner, we recently launched free trial instances, so you can now try Spanner out for free. To get your feet wet, take a look at our Quick Labs tutorials. And with that, we have come to the end of our session. Thank you for listening, and we look forward to hearing from you on our new features.